What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Ah, it's been a very long time since I've done a video about PCSX2. Has it been a long time? Let me go look at that. Yeah, uh, 2017. I'd say that's a, that's a very, very long time. And uh, in that time, they've been working on a lot of things, removing a lot of hacks. And I mean a lot. So they've been trying to clean up and go to accuracy. Uh, they're working on 1.8, which is cool. Currently, right now, the development cycle is about 1.7. Which is kind of cool, in a nutshell. Because that means uh, they've removed their plugin system. It's gone. How cool is that? It's finally gone. The old school garbage way of plugins has been removed thank you gods of the universe and emulation and all things that are holy uh, another thing is they've removed a ton of hacks as you can see which is really nice and you know if we look in the gui like a ton of things have changed graphical settings i mean should have downloaded the before i got it before so if we go into config, you'll notice that this is the old school and this is the new school. The comparison's pretty easy to understand. Uh, they've re they, they revised a lot of settings. Like if we go into emulation settings, like not much has really changed in terms of here. Where was it? How do you get to um, plugins? Like this window is gone, right? So if we go here, yeah, you got bio selector, but like that's it. Look, plugins are gone. They're like completely gone. And honestly, it's about time. I'm actually very excited about this because that means PCSX2 is moving into a more uh, stable, I don't know, future, hopefully. A less hacky one. That would be great. And. I don't know, let's check out everything that's new and try to compare it to everything that's old. So, uh, graphical settings over here, 1.7. And it's called video here. Login settings, you see that? So the window is much smaller. Uh, it's much nicer looking. Uh, it's got less hacks overall. You can just see that it just, it looks more appealing. And I love it. I really do. Like, GPU palette correction? What is that? That looks cool as hell. I'll enable that. I, I like what they did here. And getting rid of this was probably the best idea because this just looked disgusting. So, that changed. Let's check and see if audio changed. Because uh, audio is a big part of emulators. So, where is audio? Audio. So, it's just called audio settings here. And in here, it's called audio. And of course, you have that big, ugly logo. It's pointless and took up room. And honestly, they could have cut down with it's gone. But they didn't, again. So uh, they have this new option. And it's not here in the old one. It's kind of cool. They're still using X Audio instead of SDL2, but that's fine. Uh, they can do what they want. Yeah, that's a good little change. I prefer this one. Overall cleaner window structure. Wow, so let's check out gamepad settings. I don't think much has changed here. It's called a controller pad. Hell. No ugly logo, at least. Um, yeah, it's identical. Nice. Nothing's changed there, really. Uh, you can see the fast boots on by default. Kind of annoying. Got a lot more information on the bottom, too. Debug is... Wow, more debug options. Capture. So there's video, screenshot. Video and screenshot. That's normal. Yeah, that's the same. And that's the same. I know this is a weird video to do, but I kind of want it to 
you know, compare the old and the new, uh, sort of to get a better look at things. I don't have a controller hooked up that I can use because, wait, do I? Okay, I boot it up. Hopefully it actually is gonna work. And it does, good. Uh, so we're gonna go to configure again. I do have, I'm gonna do the palette conversion. Uh, we're gonna stick this at 4K and dithering upscaled. Uh, I'm gonna leave that automatic, automatic. And of course, the rest of this on automatic. Okay. Okay, so my, my switch controller is working. Why not? Uh, I can't play the audio because the audio has been lately copyright, which means they're about to do something. That annoying motion blur is still there. Do you see it? I hate that effect. Oh. As always, we have to do it. It's just a thing. Yep. You're going to get pudgy. Yeah, he got hit. <laughs> uh, those lines are still across, though. I hope those get fixed one day. Let's try the teleportation. Ready? Audio seems perfect. I know... I can't let you hear it, but honestly, it sounds great. It's very clear for once. It doesn't sound hacky. Palette correction looks great, too. Let's mess around with some settings. She slapped me across the face. That was beautiful. Network and HDD settings. That's new. USB settings. Okay, so we got that going on, and I haven't even need to change this. This just works. There's no wobble anymore. Uh, that's pretty cool. Or was it this? No, I would usually have to change this, but I don't anymore. That's great. That's another one. What is this? Uh, increases GPU memory requirements. Cool. RAM and such. Let's check that out. Okay, so we're running about 5 gigs, but what are we running here? Oh, we're only running about 420... Oh, well, it's freaking pause, that's why. Yeah, we're only at 11% and only about 410 megabytes of RAM. That's pretty good. Uh, GPU is at 1.8 gigs. Nice, let's crank it. I always like to crank it. Graphical settings, and we're going to go with 5K. So we reached over 2 gigs of GPU memory. But it's gone down in mem... What? That's magical. Alright. Let's continue on then. Going here. Get the uh, Rossetti ticket. No, I believe you. Great. I love this place. It's the best. Look at all the costumes. Great design. Nine minutes is long enough for a video, I think. Um, ECSX2 is coming along very nicely. Uh, I'm still one of those people who want a 64-bit version. The sooner or later... Microsoft's going to be phasing out 32-bit, but in a way that's a lot different. Probably going to be keep, keeping it around for games and other things, maybe. Turning it into maybe something that's emulated. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, what else should we say here? Great work, PCSX2 team. Keep it up. I'm excited for 1.8, and I've not been excited for this emulator since 2017. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, do all that jazz, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.